just couldn't really catch a break towards the end, it seemed. Yeah. Um, we talked about Moorhead's ability to win games. You know, they just kind of find a way to win. They have some a couple veteran players that just they've been successful and kind of have had some good women's basketball tradition. So I thought it came down to we had a little stretch. We missed two free throws. We turned it over twice in a row, and it went from, I think, like two to six or whatever it went, two to eight. So it just – and we talk about as a team all the time three plays. You never know what three plays a game will come down to. Well, today they were obvious because they were right in a row. But I was very proud of the way we started the second half. We played in the second half. We competed. Our defense was fantastic in the second half. Um, we only gave up 30 points and 16 of them were free throws and some at the end there. So I think we held them to 11 points for the first 16 minutes. So I thought if we had kind of played that smothering way in the first half, it could have been a little bit different. But I feel like our team is growing and learning and getting better, and I just told them to hang in there. You know, if they keep bringing this level of intensity and consistency in practice, we're going to be on the other side of these games pretty soon. Was there a halftime adjustment made, or is it just something like the girls just kind of woke up? Well, I think we took better care of the basketball, that, and that obviously gets us into our defense a lot better. Um, but I thought they just competed. Um, the whole technical foul um, thing, I think, breathed a little bit of life into everybody. and. I, I mean, you hate to see players get technical fouls or altercations, but the way that our team responded was, um, I was very proud of that. Like, they took pride in this is our gym. This is, you know, they had a great response with that. Uh, turnovers, you kind of mentioned 20 turnovers, only 14 assists. Would you like to see the team maybe handle the ball more? And Absolutely. Um, I thought they did a much better job aside from that stretch in the second half. You know, we had two shot clock violations, too, that we just can't. We can't have that happen in a close game. We need to get a quality shot up every single time. Um, but yeah, you'd like it to be, you'd love it to be two to one, to assist every one turnover, um, but, or at least even. So we, we need to do a better job. Uh, Raven has a double double tonight. And mm -hmm. I know her turnovers are kind of something yeah. that weighs it down, but she still puts up 19 points, 15 rebounds. Yeah, and she's really coming along. And we talked um, before the game, Joe Pod and I, about. Statistically, I thought early she would go down a little bit in her numbers from last year because Ashley Bay would get in the paint and create opportunities for her. And this year, she's had to rely a lot more on low post footwork, which she has. she's still learning, but her application of it, I think, is getting better every game. And she understands the better she plays, the better we are as a team. And so I think she has gotten better each game for us and hopefully can, can, can continue to build on that. We need to get a little more help around her. Okay. And then the rest can be about Jasmine. Okay. Um, 